Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. This will be case study number six, and this is a chest pain case in a young adult. All right, so you've probably heard that I've got a Patreon. I really appreciate all the support that I can get. You can get there by clicking the link in the description of the video or on the I button in the upper right-hand corner. Um, a little bit goes a long way to help offset the cost of these videos. So I thank you very much in advance for your consideration. All right, so we got a 27-year-old white woman coming into the ED complaining of chest pain for the last four hours. The pain began suddenly when she was at work. She describes the pain as dull and all over. She endorses palpitations and some nausea, but no vomiting, and this coincide with the onset of chest pain. She's also got some shortness of breath and dizziness, but that's improved. Uh, this has never happened before. Review of systems is otherwise unremarkable. She's got no significant past medical history and is on no medications. She denies alcohol, tobacco, and recreational drug use, and her vitals are listed. So what is our initial impression of this patient? Well, she is a young adult. She's got chest pain, and she's stable. All right, so... On the CCS, you're going to be asked, what do you want to do for your physical exam? Now, if this was a 70-year-old coming in with chest pain, your physical exam is going to be very limited. But this is a younger patient. She's stable. She's talking to you. Uh, so your physical exam may be a little bit more comprehensive, although uh, for these uh, for these patients who have a fairly straightforward presentation, you probably don't need to do as much. Um, so this is pretty much everything that we would uh, want to do. Um, so her general appearance is anxious, but pretty much everything else is normal. So she does have some uh, pertinent negatives. Her thyroid is normal. You're not feeling any goiter. Uh, she's tachycardic, uh, but she's got no focal deficits neurologically. She's got no appreciable murmur. Uh, and so we have, in general, a pretty normal physical exam. So what is our differential? Well, number one is a panic attack. That's one of the two most common causes of chest pain in a young adult. And then we got all our typical common causes of chest pain in anyone. We've got a heart attack, we've got arrhythmias, pneumothorax, although a lot of these are excluded from the physical exam. Then we have to think of uh, different causes of anxiety. So hyperthyroidism slash thyrotoxicosis is a possibility. Hypoglycemia is a often neglected cause of anxiety. Pheochromocytoma can cause anxiety and chest pain. Um, so you think of some of those endocrine causes. And then, of course, drug intoxication or drug withdrawal is are important causes of, of anxiety um, in young adults. So cocaine intoxication, alcohol withdrawal, and so forth. So our initial workup is going to be, first, a finger stick glucose. This is something that you should always get right away when you've got a patient who's got anxiety because hypoglycemia causes anxiety, panic-like symptoms. This is something you can spot right away, and if it's that, then you want to treat it immediately. Because she's got chest pain, we're going to get an EKG, we're going to get enzymes, and you could probably add in here a chest x-ray as well. We're going to get routine labs, BMP and CBC, and because we're thinking of the possibility of endocrine causes, namely thyroid, we're going to get TSH, and because of the possibility of drugs, we're going to get a urine tox screen. So what do we find? Pretty much everything normal. Her glucose was normal, her EKG shows sinus tac, that's not a surprise, enzymes were normal, the rest of her labs were all normal. So, our diagnosis here is a panic attack, and that's because this is a diagnosis of exclusion. We have ruled out cardiac causes, we have ruled out endocrine causes, and we've ruled out drugs. So our first line of therapy for panic attack is oral benzodiazepines. Again, you always want to rule out medical or substance causes when you've got a patient coming in with chest pain slash anxiety and they're younger, although you'd probably want to rule it out when they're older too. MI and some of the more nefarious causes are much higher on our differential the older they get. 
On CCS, you'll want to reassure the patient. That's an, always an option. And so, you know, when you've got distressed but stable patients, reassure is, it's a good thing to select. You're probably not going to get docked too much if you fail to do that, though. We want to refer patients with panic attacks to psychiatry for long-term management, which is going to be behavioral therapy and long-term SSRIs. Now, do not make the diagnosis of panic disorder on these patients. If they come in with one panic attack, it is panic attack. Panic disorder has a whole list of criteria, and so you got to be careful to distinguish between the two. So approaching chest pain and anxiety in the young adult, the most common causes of chest pain are costochondritis and anxiety. Costochondritis, you're going to be able to reproduce the pain on palpation. Typically comes in younger men who uh, like to go weightlifting and do a little bit too much on the bench press, strain one of those uh, muscles in the rib cage, and they get costochondritis. You always have to rule out medical and substance causes before concluding a psychiatric origin, so you're going to rule out uh, medical causes of chest pain. Anytime you got chest pain, it's going to warrant EKG enzymes and chest x-ray. And you want to rule out medical causes of anxiety, namely endocrine causes. So hyperthyroidism and hypoglycemia can cause anxiety. So get a finger stick glucose and a TSH. And drug abuse can cause both chest pain and anxiety. Cocaine abuse can cause chest pain and anxiety. And alcohol withdrawal can cause anxiety, typically not chest pain. Uh, also, anxiety can, can, can be caused from adverse effect of cannabis use, so make sure and ask about that as well. Uh, this is just a list of our differentials um, and sort of uh, how they would all appear as. So just to recap, panic attack is one of the two most common causes of chest pain in the young adult. Panic attacks often present with sympathetic symptoms and signs, so chest pain, palpitation, shortness of breath, sweating, hypertension. Organic and drug-induced causes related to physical symptoms must always be ruled out, and this is an ongoing theme in psychiatry. You are always going to rule out medical causes and drug-induced causes, and a big one as far as medical causes is thyroid. Hyperthyroidism can cause panic and psychosis and uh, anxiety, whereas hypothyroidism can cause depression and lethargy and uh, overeating and uh, fatigue and stuff like that. So you're always going to be looking at the thyroid when you have a patient with a possible psychiatric diagnosis and rule out uh, thyroid issues. The Immediate management of panic attack is oral benzodiazepines and reassurance, and then the outpatient management is going to be a referral to a psychiatrist, and they're going to switch them off of the benzodiazepines and on to SSRIs.